so natural pesticides as the name indicate uh, uh, these are the pesticides coming from natural origin or uh, plants we can say right without uh, undergo any kinds of uh, synthetic uh, synthesis process or uh, uh, the isolation process something like that so pesticides we have already discussed that uh, these these are the uh, agents which is going to kill the or inhibit the growth of pest right pest are nothing but undesired animals and plants which will destroy the crop medicinal crop right so there are different types of pesticides like uh, neem is there pyrethrum flower is there tobacco is there right so what are the these are the different medicinal plant where the such kind of chemical constants will be there which will be having capability to kill the different types of insects uh, microbes uh, or animals rodents vertebrates and all those things right so let's have a look on to the different types of uh, pesticides uh, which we are going to uh, include in this subject right uh, like uh, say for example uh the first one we can see here right uh, so here uh, the first uh, pesticides a pesticides is a substance that disrupts or kills organism that we consider to be pest uh, right so p e s t s pests which one we are considering it may be the weeds or unwanted plant or damaging insects why this damaging word is attached with the insects there are so many insects which will not damage your crop that's what damaging insects or microbes fungus virus bacteria that cause disease to the plant or to the crop that is called a pest and uh, which these are the substance which is disrupt or kill the uh, these organisms it is called a pesticides any substance or mixture of substance intended for the preventing destroying or mitigating any pest or intended for use as a plant growth regulator defoliant or desiccant that is also known as a pesticide pest are nothing but it is the any animal plants or microorganism that trouble or injuries or cause destruction of medicinal crop right that's what we have the insects the microbes right so method of pest control there are uh, uh, different methods so they have two types like natural and artificial so natural pest control means uh, uh, they are prepared in nat nature due to the pre predator relationship right beneficial uh, insects are those insects which uh, prey on harmful insects or their larva right but whereas in artificial pest control these are the main made methods to control the pest right like uh, uh, this uh, mechanical agriculture and all those things right so here uh, you can see here the four methods uh, uh, in agriculture uh, there are uh, first one the mechanical you can see here manual or mechanical method for collection and destruction of the pest like uh, hand picking burning trapping burning and for the destruction of larva eggs pupa and insects right agriculture these methods are used to destroy life cycle of the pest right Uh, for example deep plugging uh, for eradication of the weeds uh, alternate alternate crop rotation or hybrid pest resistance crop species that we are going to grow that we have discussed in the uh, another class right in detail chemical control these are the chemicals used to kill the pest like insecticides pesticides herbicides biological control living organisms are used to control the pest right so these are the different method for the uh, controlling of the pest here the different pesticides you can see insecticides uh, uh, which is going to kill the ants uh, cockroaches herbicides so weeds uh, fungicides uh, control the fungal disease and rodenticides uh, for the rats or different types of rodents 
characteristic of ideal pesticides what the quality supposed to have uh, it should have a, a high margin of the safety for the plant and animals right uh, right safety is also very important because uh, uh, while killing the pest they should not kill the plant easy to handle and apply also should not be toxic for warm blooded animal should not be inflammable or explosive should be available easily and affordable cost advantages they are cheap they are less harmful they are more stable they can be used to control the carriers of vector borne disease like malaria then sleeping sickness or dengue fever coming to the disadvantage the onset of the action is slow and the quantity of pesticide required may be more due to the crude component because these are natural so it will be having these are not isolated one right isolated means there will be the pure phytochemicals here it is crude component mixer is there right in that out of mixer only one constituency is acting as a pesticides that's what herbicides also commonly known as weed killer weed means undesired plants so plant killer these are the pesticides uh, used to kill unwanted plants selective herbicides kill specific targets right uh, specific plant while uh, leaving the desired crop relatively unharmed okay some of these act by the interfering with the growth of the weed and are often synthetic mimics of natural plant hormones some plants produce natural herbicides plant right some plants they will produce action of natural herbicides and also other related chemical interaction it is called the allopathy so here what happens some plants uh, if you are encouraging the growth of this plant with your original plant they may they will produce this kinds of herbicides which will not be Uh, allowing to grow the weeds or unwanted plants right the most frequent application of herbicides occurs in raw crop farming where they are applied before or during planting to maximize crop productivity by minimizing other vegetation or other weed here you can see in the image how they are uh, spreading with this uh, uh, one of the uh, right uh, helicopter or uh, jet right so here uh, in the, there will be the tanks where they are fully putting the generally these kinds of high fi technology will be used in the us and the european countries right in india i think no where it is in government sector i think one or two might be present coming to the next fungicides they are used to control fungal disease of plants different fungus we have studies like like uh, 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 try the nicotiana nicotiana atropai like that okay na so those things uh, uh, they are going to kill uh, fungi can cause serious damage in agriculture resulting in the critical losses of yield of chemical constituents of the what for we have cultivated quality quantity and profit also fungicides can either be contact translaminar or systemic contact fungicides are as the name indicates contact right contact fungicides are not taken up into the plant tissue they protect only the plant where the spray is deposited means uh, uh, here contact right uh, wherever it will come into the contact there only it will protect but whereas the translaminar fungicides uh, this is the redistribute the fungicides from the upper spread leaf surface to the lower and unspread surface also systemic uh, the systemic fungicides are taken up and uh, redistributed through the xylem vessels few fungicides move to all part of the plants some are local uh, locally systemic and uh, some move upwardly also right so here you can see the fungal attack how it is become that necrosis of the leaves how the color changes yellow and right so uh, wherever it is required that also can be spread out 
all right uh, so different these three types of fungicide fumigation also can be done it is the method of pest control that completely fills an area with the gaseous pesticides or it is called a fumigant right so these fumigants are uh, to suffocate or poison the pest within it is used to control the pest in buildings like structural fumigation already uh, now in during the covid time also uh, the fumigation method now also it is going on into the city area like they are spreading some kinds of uh, fumes or gases which is going to kill the virus into the air or in the soil grain also it is in the, and produce right it also used during the processing of goods to be imported or exported to prevent the transfer of exotic organism rodenticide rodent rat right rat mice rabbit and all those thing rat poison are the pest control chemical intended to kill rodents rodenticides are the controversial due to the secondary poisoning and uh, their risk to children pets and wildlife it is not only going to kill the rats these kinds of poison may also affect the children if they will swell if they will uh, pets like dogs cats and all other pets if we there and other wildlife also other uh, dogs outside dogs and cats if they will eat or uh, some other animals will eat they will also going to affect it single feed bait are chemical significantly dangerous that are the first dose is sufficient to kill see the rodent will eat a small bit of something and wait and if they don't get sick they continue and effective rodenticides must be tasteless orderless in lethal concentrations and have a delayed effect that's what so many you might have seen that the even if you are giving the rat poison rats are eating and they are not at all uh, dying right again next day again they are coming and they are doing all the Uh, nonsense what they used to do in that your uh, room or somewhere right so that's what it should be tasteless it should be orderless at in the lethal dose how much dose you have given into into bread or a uh, potato or tomato or whatever the thing you have putting for the rat so that should at that time whenever rat will eat that particular poison they should not realize first of all they should think that they are eating the tomato potato or bread or whatever it is the first example under natural pesticides that is tobacco right so everyone of you are very much aware that what is the tobacco you can see here the tobacco life plant how it looks like the height from the land and the leaves are only leaves are visible right if you dry it will become like that so the <clears throat> it is very much uh, popular plants uh, in medicinal point of view pesticide point of view and of our other uh, point of view like secret cigars uh, and uh, so many other narcotic use it is having coming to the its uh, pharmacognostic details synonym tobacco by if you see the biological source it is consists of dried leaves you can see here right uh, in pharmacognostical scheme of crude drugs i told you dried leaves leaves we are using as a drug right of nicotiana tobacco this name you should remember nicotiana tobacco don't forget this name belonging to the family solanaceae right so tobacco is a whole stout evergreen annual 1 to 3 cm are in height it is erect with the few branches bears 20 leaves you can see here bears 20 leaves in the each plant right uh, in each leaves a 20 80 cm in length uh, flowers are white pink in color fruits are capsule elliptic ovoid seeds are spherical and brown in color with 0.5 mm in size right so color you can see green to slightly brown it depend on how much drying has been done characteristic odor and bitter and acrid taste right so there are different types like bidi tobacco cigar tobacco chewing tobacco hookah tobacco depend on the processing they have modified so here we are to discuss about what is the its uh, pesticides activity mode of action 
in both insects and mammals nicotine which is the main chemical constituent in the tobacco nicotine is an extremely fast acting nerve toxin what do you mean by nerve toxin directly it will attack onto the nervous system the nerves it is going to fail to pass the signals right that's what that much it is harmful right that's what it is uh, if you will take into the high concentration and high dose the insects will not be able to move and ultimately they are going to die right that is the uh, having the pharmacological action of the nicotine into the nervous system it completes with the acetylcholine the major neurotransmitter right by bonding to acetylcholine receptors at nerve synapses and uh, causing uncontrolled nerve firing right so uh, you might be seeing that whenever it will be spread the insect will start moving means uh, when they will die how the movement will be there up their body right so that's what whatever the neurotransmitter the major neurotransmitter it is acetylcholine right so acetylcholine receptor it will bind with the acetylcholine receptor at the nerve at the nerve and the causing uncontrolled nerve firing right so that is the mechanism this disruption of normal nerves impulse activity result in the rapid failure of those body system that depend on the nervous input for the proper functioning so most of the insect uh, they are depending on to the nervous input or they will be having nervous system which will part transmitting the signals so that is going to stop and rapid failure right that's what in insects uh, the action of nicotine is fairly selective and only contains type of insects are affected right so here you can see they have given into the one picture of the insects right so how if they will eat uh, uh, holding the spoons and uh, that uh, dining table uh, get up to eat so once they will eat start eating this which has been spread into the plant this kinds of uh, natural pesticides they are going to have this nervous failure action so you can see the nicotine structure here which is the main constituents here uh, <coughs> other constituents in the nico tobacco plant consist of pyridine piperidine type of alkaloid among them 1 to 10% of nicotine and the nor nor nicotine nor nicotine nor nicotine and anabasine so this you have to remember nicotine nor nicotine anabasine this is the structure of nicotine here you can see two rings are there six member ring attached with the five member ring and nitrogen atoms it is attached in the position and the methyl group so this you can practice and you can draw use insecticidal free base of nicotine is more toxic than sulfate mostly effective against minor soft body insect right soft body insect means uh, for example aphids white flies fruit tree borers termites cabbage butterfly larva you can see in the cabbage also the same like color uh, it will be there right it will look like a green color only and uh, they will uh, even though if you will not see properly it, you will not able to see so that's what uh, soft body right soft body insect uh, nicotine preparation are safer easier to handle and less toxic to warm blooded animals less toxic to the warm blooded blooded animals like uh, human beings is having warm warm blooded uh, sorry um, uh, the dogs are there rats are there or some other pets we can see so which is not going to harm it is less toxic for them right so next one parithrum flower the second drug under natural pesticides you can see into the picture how the parithrum flowers looks like right it's like a uh, right uh here the yellow color in middle and uh, the petals are white in color which is very dense here you can see into the group here so this is the pyrethrum flower and it is having natural this is the only one flower having natural pesticides constituents present in it only in flower when i say flower tobacco leaf means leaves the constituents is present when i say flower in flower the constituents is 
present so let's discuss about the pharmacognosy it is also known as see in the synonym itself insect flowers no flower it is known as insect flowers except a pyrethrum flower and it's it's a main name pyrethrum flowers so it consists of dried unexpanded flower unexpanded flower heads of chrysanthemum cinerace folium belonging to the family compositae which consists of not less than 0.7% of pyrethrin this you have to remember again pyrethrins it is the main constituents which is going to act so microscopic color a cream to straw color just now we have seen the color of the you can see here right and uh, aromatic bitter and uh, numbness 5 to uh, 10 to 15 mm diameter flower heads are is flat with the convex receptacle right so next coming to the uh, pyrethrins that the main constituents which i told you refers to the six related insecticidal compounds that occur naturally in the crude material the pyrethrum flowers right they are extracted from the crude pyrethrum dust as a resin that is used in the manufacture of various insecticidal products like spray oil or powder whatever it may be form so what is the mechanism of action like in tobacco we have seen that uh, in nervous system or in nerve it is acting so let us see in pyrethrin how it is going to act into the insect body or into the pest body pyrethrins exerts their toxic effects by disrupting the sodium and potassium ion exchange process in insect nerve fibers see again nerve fibers came then only it is going to die fast right until and unless the nerves will not be targeted in any insecticide it is going to fail right again they will they can survive if they'll get water air and some uh, rest right that's what disrupting the sodium and the potassium ion exchange process the sodium and potassium ion exchange it will have a where nerve fibers then interrupting the normal transmission of nerve impulses right a uh, normal transmission of the nerve impulses or signals also it is interfering or stopping in between so they are going to again they are going to die slowly pyrethrins insecticides are extremely fast acting and a cause an immediate knockdown paralysis in insects right their body is going to paralyze because impulses is stopped signals are not passing if they they will give the command to their legs to walk the signal will not reach their legs will not uh, so i i mean to say is the immediate knockdown right that's what this that much faster it is having action on to the despite their rapid toxic action however many insects are able to metabolize see then also they can digest or they can metabolize break down pyrethrin this chemical they can metabolize quickly so for them again we have to go for high dose or some other alternate after a brief period of paralysis these insects may recover rather than die see they can uh, they will have they will consume they will metabolism also will be done adma will be done but even though they will not die to prevent insects from metabolizing pyrethrin the recovering from poisoning most products containing pyrethrin also uh, contain the synergistic or the uh, piperoyl butoxide pbo without pbo the effectiveness of pyrethrin it is generally greatly reduced so that's what such some insects uh, who can uh, metabolize properly and they are not uh, having any effect or developing the resistance so we need to uh, uh, prepare the formulation in a such way so that the pbo that uh, pyperonyl butoxide this uh, uh, it will it is going to uh, without pbo the effectiveness of pyrethrin is greatly reduced that's what we have to add along with this and uh, it can be effective further then okay so chemical constituents in pyrethrin the you can see the esters of pyrethrin 1 and 2 jasmolin 1 and 2 cinerin 1 and 2 triterpenes alcohol pyrethrol lactone pyrethrocin 
you have to remember these five chemical constants without this it is not going to fulfill right so what are the esters pyrethrin jasmoline cinerine triterpene alcohol pyrethrol lactone and pyrethrocene so all the name it is coming from the name only the name in pyrethrum flower from there only so you have to <coughs> look after the prefix and suffixes how it is you can uh, remember easily other pyrethrol uh, that pyrethrotoxic acids then the other things are also it is there like uh, chrysanthemum and uh, chrysanthemumic acid and all those things uses domestic and agriculture insecticidal it acts and nervous system in the insects uh, we have seen in the uh, resulting in the muscular excitation and convulsion paralysis occur so then they are going to die toxic effect of pyrethrum on human are irritation to eye and mucosa right so that generally with all kinds of insecticides or pesticides you may have some kinds of irritation or allergy that's what we have to uh, wear the mask uh, or uh, goggles we have to use while spreading or gloves also we should use you might be seeing into the agriculture those who are working how they are spreading the insecticides or pesticides maximum permissible atmospheric concentration is up to 5 mg per cubic meter for the range of this pyrethrum right so insecticides sometimes mixed with this uh, the synthetic products such as ddt and uh, scabicides for human beings and ecto uh, ecto uh, parasiticides in veterinary medicine so it is other use uh, these compounds make a unique insecticide because they are relatively non toxic to the humans and uh, warm blooded animals pyrethrins are quickly broken down into the different form right so up to here we are discussing today uh, next uh, we will continue in the next class right so here we discussed about the tobacco and the pyrethrum tobacco leaves and the pyrethrum flower as a natural pesticides and how we we, we could uh, 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 understand that uh, uh, how they are attacking into the nervous system and uh, nervous systems are blocking and uh, insects are dying right